what's going on today we're going to be doing a deep dive into smart money who are they what do they do and how can we monitor and track their positions in this video i'm going to be breaking down exactly what the crt the commitment of traders data report is and how you can incorporate it every single day in your day trading strategy so we're going to start off with some key diamond insider information right so we obviously need some terminology um at first we have wicks what are wicks wicks are key price points right where price is inefficient and unfair so it's imbalanced so essentially this is our um stacking point so this is our point of interest to where we're getting in and out and then we have cot so we have commitment of traders what is the cot it's given to us by the cftc and it allows us and the cftc is the commodities futures and uh, options exchange in other words that's the united states government that allows us to see smart money positions so institutions so the big banks and just trading in conjunction to them will revolutionize your trading like genuinely so i'm um, just putting you guys on some sauce this video but here's some more definitions so every wick that stops you out is institutions taking your money we've all been there right we've all been there we got wicked out and then price just trades back into that wick and goes straight to our take profit and that's whenever you start experiencing these psychological things like FOMO or tilt and you're just getting these really bad entries there'll be days where you're on side on there'll be days where you're, you're on side and you're on the right side of the market but due to slippage and due to FOMO and bad entries um you'll still you'll still end up blowing an account or even at like ending off the day super duper red right so here's the craziest part they actually tell you what they're doing every single week in a free government report most traders don't even know exists we're going to be breaking down how you guys can access the free report in this video and we're, i'm going to show you guys exactly how institutions has billions and how i combine it with kez's wig theory to catch reversals before retail even reacts so the cot report this is your window into smart money right so what is it so the commitment of traders or the cot report is published every single friday by the cftc the commodity futures trading commission in other words that's the united states government agency that regulates futures and options markets the report is a snapshot of who holds what positions in the u.s futures markets split into two critical groups so we have the commercials we have the hedgers the big banks the corporations the institutions they do not gamble they hedge airlines hedge fuel costs farmers hedge crops banks hedge portfolios they're the closest to real supply and demand that's why they're called smart money and then we have small speculators so we have retail traders we have the general public and they're almost always on the wrong side of major moves now how can we utilize that and capitalize on that it's very very simple and self-explanatory but uh if you guys however if you guys have a journal or notebook i would get um i get that take some meticulous notes we have the theory and practice right we have the nerdy emoji here because um we're just going to be doing a deep dive on the significance of everything so we'll start off with the good old dicaprio the only fair game in wall street here's the part that most traders don't realize this report isn't some wall street secret locked behind a, pay a paywall it's public anyone in the world can access it to me that's powerful because let's be real institutions and hedge funds control everything they a manipulate they trap and they hunt stops they are the market makers right they engineer liquidity and that's why this that's why there's so much significance in actually tracking their positions but this is the only piece of fairness that's given to us the people the one glimpse behind the curtain that they cannot hide from us most traders ignore it they're oblivious to it they're blind to the only transparency we're offered and that's why they keep losing to the same game right why commercial positioning predicts market moves commercials don't guess they manage billions when commercials are net long at extremes it often marks a bottom whenever they're net short at extremes it often marks a top and on the converse or on the complete inverse on the complete opposite uh meanwhile retail meanwhile retail does the complete opposite they long at the highs and they short at the lows these aren't retail traders gambling their lunch money they're fortune these are fortune 500 companies protecting massive portfolios with inside knowledge Kaz's formula plus AI automation. Here's the kicker. I've automated that calculation with AI. Every single week, AI crunches the numbers for me and spits it out into a clear bias, right? And this is all given to the students in the Discord. So it's very simple. You just go to the Discord. You'll see a bot called Kaz AI. You do slash COT report, and then you'll get the most concurrent bias utilizing my formula. Again, this formula is something that I've derived from tracking for so long, journaling them. And these are just patterns that I've recognized, not in price, but actually from these reports. And it works it works like crazy it definitely revolutionized my trading and my students they love it because instead of wasting hours digging through raw reports they see straight up our institutions position bullish or bearish i won't dive into the full formula here that's something i teach step by step inside my mentorship but just know this when commercials hit extremes the market is usually about to flip right here's here is my cot plus work theory execution process so cot alone won't make you any money day trading it's not an entry signal it's a bias filter so you always want to see concurrent check weekly cot and then you want to utilize that formula to see 
are we at extremes, right? This gives you directional bias for the week and then you apply that directional filter. Um, so this is just an example. So commercials are 80% that long. You only wanna be taking executing on lock positions and then you wanna drill meticulously anything that is on the converse. So no, no counter trend trades. And then you wanna execute with wick theory. So this is just an example. You could, you could utilize your true day opens, um, liquidity purge, and then you could enter on the three wick formation, right? So these are common COT mistakes that cost traders money. First mistake, day trading directly off of COT. This is the wrong approach. COT is a weekly tool for bias, not, pre not precision entries. You need intraday execution methods, right? Mistake two, ignoring context. Context is everything. You don't want to try to jump the gun before market structure forms, right? Market structure will always form in conjunction to that report. You just have to be patient, right? 99% of trading is patience. Only extreme positioning matters. Normal commercial levels don't predict major moves. And then this is mistake number three, no execution strategy. You have to have a strategy to, to execute on this. COT gives you the what, but without the timing tools, you'll still get stomped out. Remember, COT is the what and WIC theory is the when. Together, th this is your revolutionary edge over retail, like genuinely. And it's kind of like envision the infinity loop. They all are correlated. They all go back into each other. And then next we have a live example. FYI, we have two examples actually. We have an example that played out today. And today is currently Friday. It's October 10th. So we're going to be diving into both of them. So this is a real case study. So this was a 798% return on short positions that I caught in an option. So this was my setup. Commercials were net long, right? I'm always checking the, that formula that I've derived from it. And out of nowhere, okay, this thing just wants to refresh out of nowhere. <laughs> but out of nowhere, they just piled into shorts, right? Two, I was super duper patient. I wasn't, you know, I was just intraday trading. I was waiting. I was observing price. And then COT gave me confidence in the short bias. And I just executed on Kez's wick theory after we took out. It was a daily uh, tie from Kez's wick theory. So we took out the previous day's high, created the, the fractal in price. And then, um, yeah, it just ran. Or for, it flew. And it was a Trump tariff. I had no idea. I was honestly kind of scared because I've never seen the COT report go from so bullish to so bearish out of nowhere. And you could see the, the report. Like, we could. it was a Trump tariff, like the new stuff. This is exactly what happened. Where they crazy just dip in price um and then after the cot returned back to you know the buy program uh that kind of confirmed this order block change in state and then we just went to all-time highs but right here everybody because if you see right here where my cursor is this is all-time highs everybody's like yo we're gonna hit all-time highs now um trump just got into office however uh the cot report said otherwise and then we had this crazy dip and nobody saw that coming like genuinely i want to spread awareness and just show you guys how powerful this stuff genuinely is all right, so before we get into that, we're gonna be getting, I'm gonna show you guys exactly how to access the raw reports. So if you guys go to Google, um, I'll go ahead and link the description to the website in the comments and in the description. And so you wanna click on the first website that auto populates. It's gonna say an official website by the United States government. And then uh, you just wanna scroll down. You wanna go down to Chicago Mercantile Exchange. And then uh, you wanna go to short format. Right. You could do long format. It just has a lot more information on open interest, which we don't really need, but it does work. And then you want to go to the NASDAQ. I just hit command F or if you're on, if you're on Windows, control F. And then uh, I trade minis. So if you trade micros, you could do micros as well. But NASDAQ minis right here. You can see non-commercials are what? Long positions. It's it's really old school. Like generally, like this is going to look crazy if you guys haven't. Um, just been doing this for so long. However, again, it's all in the Discord. So if you guys want to make it super duper easy for yourselves, just join the Discord slash COT report and it'll automatically just tell you every single week concurrently what the what smart money is doing. It's, it's your window into smart money. But you can see not commercial um, for this week. They're in longs and in commercials, they're in shorts, right? And I actually utilize this today as well. So, all right. So this is today's chart, right? I can't make this up. So she sent a message out to the Discord saying that we're going to be nearing the end of all-time highs during October, right? My formula with the COT reports, right? And this is my exact entry. It was off of this change of state, this order block. I was just targeting these smooth lows and these smooth lows down here. And again, like I showed you guys the concurrent week's price. Like what are, what are, what are smart money doing? What is COT? They're super duper bearish. Are you going to be catching these crazy moves? If you guys didn't know that, like generally, how are you guys going to know it's, it's a favorite shorts or longs without this? How can you justify this leg move 
go dropping significantly and this was more trump tariff stuff like did i know that no i don't know how to predict what world events or what news events are going to happen but i know how to track the window into smart money to catch these crazy moves i'm telling you guys you guys need to capitalize off of this it really is game changing but yeah so that's all there is for this video um again that robot keza ai it's game changing and again like i'm gonna get a little personal with you guys but one of my main goals for this year is to hit 4,000 subscribers so if you guys made it all the way to the end of this video I'd really appreciate it if you guys could just subscribe. Um, I'm trying to hit 4,000 subscribers before 2026. And yeah, I hope you guys learned something. I'm generally just here to revolutionize your trading. And that's the objective. Any questions, feel free to join the Discord. The Discord's for free to join. Um, the students have been killing it, so I'm super duper happy and super duper like proud of everybody in there, like genuinely. But yeah, join up the Discord. I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.